yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the baby, oh. Ah, it's got the baby, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad man thing, yeah, yeah. Bad girl make you want to face, nah, nah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Roxy. I'm here with another video. I am so excited today um, to do this video because I was inspired by a, it looks like she was, she's a natural hairstylist. Her Instagram is D Carrington. I saw these beautiful Bantu knots on the Cut Life page, I believe, and I went straight to her page and I was just so inspired. So I want to recreate it, of course. Um, if you want to see how I achieve that Bantu knot look, keep watching. Okay, so my hair is already prepped. I have just molded the sides and the back down so it looks like this. And I plan on doing six, I'm gonna try and do six Bantu knots. I'm gonna be, I'm going to be using the Kenafalon hair in color number one. So it's just your regular Kenafalon uh, braiding hair that I'll be using. I'm just gonna cut it in half because I think it's gonna be a little bit too long um, if I leave it at its full length. I'm gonna also prep my hair by dividing them ahead of time. So I'm just gonna pre-section pre them. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've done one part down the middle and I'm going to do each side, I'm going to divide it into three, three sections. Okay, so I sectioned them off as evenly as I possibly could. And so I have six parts in total. All right, so I'm gonna do my first one. So I I've taken about this much hair. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by braiding it into the part. And I'm gonna try to keep it as centered as I can. So it's, it's going to be like a box, a really big box braid. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're just going to end up wrapping it around. Now that I have that in place, I'm just going to wrap it around itself.
So I've got two, two down and four to go. One thing you don't want to do is braid it in too tight because you're already going to get an extra pull when you're trying to wrap it around and that's just going to give you a headache for no reason so don't braid it in too tight pretty much and i used to do this to my hair when my hair was natural believe it or not guys i used to be natural um yeah so i used to be natural and then when i had my son maybe about five months after he like when he turned about five months i decided to just get a relaxer again and then ever since then i never went back i think one day i'll eventually go back natural What I need to do now is just slick down my edges. I'm going to use the MC7 Collection Edge Tamer that I always go to now. And this is just going to make sure everything is nice and finished and in place. So I'm going to put some obviously at the front. I'm gonna use some dark, some black gel actually for the inside parts because it's a little bit more wet and easier to maneuver. I love this style because it's so funky and just, just so edgy and it brings me right back to my natural days. And of course, I have to finish off my, my look with some lips. So I'm just gonna outline it, my lips first using some dark brown lip pencil. And then I'm gonna use NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And this is in the color No Envy. So this is the finished look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I also hope that it has inspired you to just recreate your pixie. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell below and that way you'll get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!